Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today we're going to be going over my entire wand collection, my prized possessions. <laughs> so before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. <laughs> I am so excited for today's video. It's something that I've been wanting to show you guys for quite some time, but I've been collecting here and there, and I just wasn't ready to show you my entire collection yet. It is not complete by any means. I still have so many on my wish list, but for now, I wanted to show you my collection as of currently. So we're in September 2021, so we'll see how much it'll change later down the road in the future, but as of right now, these are all my wands in my collection. <laughs> you hear them falling over? And then also one thing I wanna know is, I know my background looks a little different. It looks pretty dark in here as well. It's been such a rainy day here in Florida. So please bear with me with the lighting. I do wanna add some lighting on the top of the shelves. And I also need to tweak them a lot more than what they are right now. So I'm not ready to do a complete shelf tour, but I will be doing one soon or soonish, I should say. So. Just bear with me, eventually I will get a new shelf tour update, but at least you kinda can get a little sneak peek of what the shelves are gonna be looking like. I did go ahead and get these bookshelves over at Ikea. They are the Billy bookshelves. A lot of collectors use them. I think the white one is the one that most people use. This is the color Birch, so it's a kind of a wood shade, which I'm really enjoying. And I added some pops of green and things like that on there. So I am so excited to show you that, but Today's video is not about my bookshelves. It's about wands. <laughs> so yes, let's go over all of my wands. So the wands that I'm gonna be showing you today, put those down quickly, <laughs> are gonna be all of my Noble Collection wands. I do have a couple knockoffs that I can show you, like from Wish, that's why I'm calling them knockoffs. I know you can get some other replica wands off of that are done really well. They do character wands as well, or you can do like personalized ones that like would be for yourself. So definitely check out Etsy if you want to see some of those. I don't have any of those currently in my collection. I would love to get a wand personalized for myself, but I am still waiting to do that. So let's go over all of my Noble Collection wands. All right, we'll start with the very first one that I ever purchased for myself and that is my Luna Love Good Tulip wand. It is so gorgeous. I love her wand so much i think it is so adorable so mine is nick it's right here i did drop it when i was at the theme parks because this is a interactive wand so while i was using this at universal doing some spells i did drop my wand and i was so sad so yes that is the luna love good tulip wand so here is the rest of the base of the wand so it has a little indentation. I just love it. It's so sleek, but so cute and feminine. I just am obsessed. So you can see this is the interactive spot on the wand. So you can use this one at Universal and it's so much fun. I definitely recommend doing that if you're going to Universal to get a wand that you can actually use in the theme park. It is so much fun. So that is my very first one I ever purchased, Luna Lovegood. So speaking of Luna Lovegood, she does have another wand. So she has her first wand that you see in the movies and then they changed it to that tulip wand for the rest of the series. So this is her first wand and it has like all these little acorns on it and little leaves carved into it. It's very simple, kind of plain besides this base right here, but I think it's so cute. So the rest is just plain and it's very long. Like, let's compare it to her next one. Like, look at the length difference. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> oh, I hope I'm showing these off well. But those are both of Luna's wands. And the only way you can receive this one now is in one of the collector sets that you can, like, hang up and display. I think it's the Defense Against the Dark Arts set from Noble Collection, but where I purchased mine was Macari, so it's kind of like an eBay, uh, but they have a lot of collector pieces on there, and that's how I was able to score her wand without having to buy the entire display, so I'm very happy that I have her wand 
in my collection. And also to know when you're purchasing off of like an eBay or secondhand seller type of thing, you always wanna be able to see the stamp. So if you can see that right there, so that's the trademark stamp for the Warner Brothers, so that way you know that this is an official licensed one and you're not getting one that someone has duped. So just something to look out for. That's what I do before I purchase something. If I don't see it, I'll either ask the seller if they can take a picture of it and update the listing, or I just move on until I can find one that does have it. All right, so for the next one, I have Professor Snape's. So here it is up close. His kind of has this like cool effect where it's like thin and then wide right here, but it has so much cool detail at the base. So this is another one that's like pretty simple, but I love the intricate design down the bottom, but the rest is just plain black. Love this one. So that is Professor Snape. And I am going to try to go through these kind of quickly since we do have a lot to go over. So the next one, I'm just going to pick up randomly. It's Ron Weasley's wand. So his has kind of like a rounded end and it kind of looks like almost like rock like at the base. And then here is the rest of the details, kind of bumpy throughout the rest. And it has different colors in the brown, dark brown to light brown throughout the rest of the wand. So I think that's really nice. His is very similar to Harry's. So let me talk about Harry's just so you can kind of see them side by side. Like, so shape wise, they're kind of similar, but you can definitely tell them apart for sure. So here is Harry's, that was Ron's. So we'll put Ron's away. So Harry's wand looks like a branch that just you took right out of a tree. <laughs> I like how it has like that knot of a tree would have. So I think that's really cool. His is more flat at the bottom where Ron's is more round. So that's the difference for sure. And then his goes from like this really dark brown to almost, I guess you would say black, to a darker brown. And it has some more detail throughout here. Oops. I'm sorry about the focus if it keeps going in and out, but yes, this is Harry's wand. And it has a Phoenix core and it's unyielding. Actually, I don't know. I don't know that stuff. <laughs> I do know it has a Phoenix core just because his and Voldemort's both share a Phoenix core from the same Phoenix. So let's go over a Voldemort's wand because we do have his. So look, these two cannot kill each other. They can harm, but they cannot kill. <laughs> Okay, this is Voldemort's wand. So this one I also got off of like an eBay or Mercari, a secondhand seller for sure. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for them. What I usually like to do is spend less than 20 if I'm gonna get it secondhand. So that is just kind of like my only requirement and then that it has the stamp on it as well. But this one has a lot more like kind of wear and tear, I guess you would say, than I did realize before purchasing. So you can see like the color is kind of missing right here. And it's just really kind of banged up. You could tell that they use this one, but that's okay. I know I've got it for a decent price, so I'm totally okay with that. But here is the rest of his. His definitely looks like a bone. And his kind of has this like hook on here with the bone. So I think he would like hold it like this because you know how it was always like I don't know, flat in his hand. He never held it like everybody else. And then there's this little like notch right here that you can rest this finger on. And then he probably would never drop it. So he'd be like, oh, man, I can never <laughs> Horrible, horrible impersonation. But this is Voldemort's one. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, I've got a lot of Fantastic Beast ones. So I think I'll do those last. All right, so I have three more before we get to Fantastic Beast. So let's do the other universal one that I have. So this one, I forget the name. I think it's Reed that they sell over at Universal and this is one of their wands. So this is not a character one. I did think that this one was George Weasley's one because it has a similar base. So when I first bought it, that's what I totally thought it was. And then I had some of you guys correct me in the comments. It was in one of my previous videos when I unboxed this. I got this off of Poshmark for 15 bucks. I do remember that. And I was so excited about it, but I'm still excited about it because it is an interactive wand and the interactive wands are so expensive at Universal. So this was a total score and I'm still really happy that it's in my collection, but this is the base and then this is the rest of the wand. So what they do with some of the Universal ones is 
for these ones. I don't know if they're still making these or not, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments. This is George Weasley's wand here, and then the rest of the wand is supposed to be Fleur Delacour's wand, which I don't have either in my collection, so I can't show you, but that's where they kind of stole the designs from. I think that's very interesting. But this one's very comfortable to hold because it has that little like indent for your thumb, and you could practice your spells. So I like that one. Next, I have Ginny Weasley's wand. So hers is a black wand and it has this really beautiful swirl. Very simple as well, but it has enough detail on it. So you can see her little licensing stamp on it for sure. And then the rest is just all black, it's the tip of the wand. But I really like hers too. It's very pretty and elegant and simple black wand. Jitty's wand. <laughs> All right, next, before we get into some of the Fantastic Beast ones I have, is Neville Longbottom's wand. His is actually one of my favorites. I don't know why, but I just love his wand. So this is the base, so it's kind of like that dark brown, almost black, and then it goes into this like light brown. It's pretty simple, but I really like it, and it kind of resembles a root, because you know, Neville is into herbology, so it totally goes with his character, and it's very nice to hold. I don't know, I do like this one. Swish and flick. I can't believe I haven't done that yet in this video. I need to start casting some more spells. I've got all these wands. <laughs> all right, so this one's gonna be my transition into Fantastic Beast wands. It is the Elder Wand, which Grindelwald has in the beginning of Fantastic Beasts. So we do see him with that, but then we know it as Albus Dumbledore's wand. So this one has very many names, but it's a classic. So his is so cool. I love this wand. This one's very detailed and different than a lot of the others. This little spot right here kind of has some runes on it, carved into it, and it's got all these little notches with the little indents. It's so cool. His is very long. I think this is the longest wand. And then it has those little knots in it throughout the entire wand. And look how long it is. Like, let's compare it. Here's Neville's. Oh my gosh, this looks like a baby. <laughs> so Neville's ends here and you still got a couple more inches for the Elder Wand. Super cool, love it, and it's very thin, but it still has a good weight to it. Whew. It's the most powerful wand, and I have it in my collection. <laughs> All right, next we have Newt Scamander's wand. So here is a close-up of his. So his is supposed to have kind of like that pearlescent base here and then it has all these other colors throughout it so it kind of goes brown to blue to this like light tan color and it has all these nicks in it because Newt is out and about working you know he's got it in his mouth sometimes he's using it you saw that one when he was like sticking his ears so he could listen just all kinds of stuff with his wand so it definitely has that like wear and tear look to it which I think is cool and authentic to the character but let's go on to his brother's wand so we have Newt Scamander's brother Theseus, and this is his wand, and it's very pretty. It's like a marble color at the bottom. Very sophisticated looking gold base, and then like another little gold detail here, and then the brown wood wand throughout the rest of it. So that is Theseus, and this is Newt. So here are the brothers' wands side by side. They couldn't be more different, right? Just like they are in real life, I guess. <laughs> Or just like their characters are. So I think that's so cool. And then let's go to Leo Lestrange. The love interest. <laughs> this is Lita Lestrange's one. Hers is very different than some of the other ones that we've seen. I guess I would say Ginny's would be the closest to hers. But hers has all this like silver metal kind of material on the end and right here and then it has that swirl that kind of Ginny's kind of has I guess you would say and then it's just plain black throughout the rest of it so that is Lita Lestrange all right so now we're on the very last one leave any guesses down in the comments below which one you think it is it is from the Fantastic Beast series so if you have any guesses leave them down but it is drum roll please <laughs> Nicholas Flamel I think his is so cool. His also looks like a bone at the base. And then all this like gold detail, which of course it's gonna be gold because he has the Sorcerer's Stone. 
the elixir of life. You can turn metals into gold with it. So maybe he added this in himself. It's all speculation, of course, but I think it's a cool detail and it looks so cool. And it kind of like hooks just like Voldemort's one. You could have it kind of hook behind your hand when you're holding it. And then there's that notch right here. So it holds really nicely in your hand. Swish and flick. <laughs> It's very cool, very interesting wand, but that is all of my Noble Collection wands. I do wanna show you a few other wands that I have that aren't Noble Collection, they're not licensed wands. So the first one I wanna show you is the one I got from Lit Joy Crate. So this is the one that I actually use in the beginning of every single one of my videos. I just love it, it's so little. It's like probably the shortest one. Like let's compare the other one, just because that one's so big. It's literally half of this wand. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So it ends right here and then we have the rest of the wand. So yeah, it's little, but I like it. I keep it at my desk. That way I can always use it and I'm not like afraid if I do ding it up like my Luna Love Good wand that I dropped. So if I drop this one, I won't be devastated, but I do really like it and I enjoy it. I love the little like gem at the base right here. It's like pretty orange color and then all the little details and it's just so simple and easy. I like it. So that one is from Lit Joy Crate. My next one is also from a subscription box, but this one is from Geek Gear and it is a snake. Do you see it? <laughs> so it's a snake all wrapped around the wand and it's a nice like heavy, good quality wand. I don't have any more from them, so I don't know if all of them were made this way because I know they started doing like a subscription service for just wands but this one actually came from one of the boxes that I got. So I think it's really nice, a good length. It's pretty much just as long as all the other ones. Like here's Ginny's and it's almost the same length. It's just a hair shorter. So I do like that. I think it's really cool. If you're a Slytherin, you probably would really like this one, the serpent on it. So I think that's so cool. But that is my Geek Gear wand. Next two are from Wish. So if you saw my Wish unboxing and comparison video, you would have seen these wands. So I do have Severus Snape's wand from Wish, but you can see how thick this wand is. It's very similar, but not the same. So let's compare the Noble Collection one. So I didn't have the Noble Collection one at the time when I did my Wish unboxing, but see how thin this one is compared to it. But it does have similar details. So it definitely would do if you're like doing like a cosplay and you didn't want to damage it. Like if I was going out and about and I didn't want to damage this one, I could bring this one with me and not feel as bad. So you have that option. Next is Professor Umbridge's wand. And this is also from Wish, which I think is so cool because I didn't even know what her wand looked like before I got this from Wish. I don't know all of the wands. I know a fair amount, but now I know what hers looks like. I think hers would be cool to get in my collection now that I kind of have a dark arts theme shelf somewhere down there. <laughs> I'll show you guys later on, but hers would be cool to add there. And I think hers comes with a stand if you get it from Noble Collection. I'm not 100% sure if they still have it or not. I know sometimes they retire some items. I think you can still get that off their website. All right, so just to show you all of my wands together. So these are all my Noble Collection ones. I'm not putting the other ones from Wish in here, but this is all of them. I think I have 15. 1, 2, 3, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, so I have 15 total wands in my collection so far. And here is a close up of all of them together. It's a little wand bouquet. Oh, <laughs> I gotta be really careful with them. You don't wanna damage any more. Here are all of them together. They look so cool together. So yes, that is all 15 of my Noble Collection wands in my current collection. So let me know if you guys have any similar wands to this in your collection as well. I definitely want to hear it, as well as any other recommendations. If you think I should have some on my wish list, like I don't have Hermione Granger's wand. I've been on the hunt for that one because I don't want to pay full price for it. So hopefully I'll be able to find it and have a score soon and I'll be able to add it to my collection. So that is one I'm definitely on the hunt for so I can close out my golden trio and then I'll even have the silver trio. 
I do have her wand from like those Harry Potter mystery wands that you can get over at Walmart. I didn't show those in today's video just because I wanted to show you more of like the collector pieces that I have and then I know I showed a couple other ones but I do have a bunch of those as well. If you want to see what wands those are definitely check out those unboxings. I'll link them in the description box and I'll link them probably in a card on one of these sides as well so you can see those videos but those are also in my collection as well so I do have more wands than these but those are just a little bit different so I didn't want to show those in today's video but oh and also speaking of these new bookshelves I need your guys's recommendation on how to display my wands so I've seen some people be able to display them like straight up or like at an angle but I don't know how to get them on my shelves that way so Back here I have an empty spot and that's where I want to put these wands. So if you know any way to display them, I want to know, I want to hear it. So definitely share any advice that you have for me on how to properly display these wands so that way we can see them all the time on my bookshelves. I would really appreciate that if you had any recommendations. So I'll definitely link down in my description box below where you can get all of these wands in, in different affordable ways as well. So I'll give you all my recommendations. I'll make sure to leave all those details down in my description box because you can get a lot of these wands from so many different places like those um, Fantastic Beast wands. So for these five Fantastic Beast wands, these actually came in a set. They sell in just like an open packaging. So you won't get those like signature boxes. So it kind of depends on like if that matters to you or if it doesn't matter to you. Same with like if you're gonna buy them on eBay or something, sometimes they don't have the boxes anymore, but you can get them at a discounted price that way. So for me, I really just want to display them outside their box so the box doesn't quite matter to me. I know from like a collector's standpoint, the box makes it more valuable. So if I ever wanted to resell them, the ones in the boxes will go for more, but I'm still happy to have them just displayed without them. So kind of take that into consideration as well but they sell this by Noble Collection in just like a window box. I'll pop it on the screen here so you know which one I'm talking about. And that one goes for $100, so it makes each one only 20 bucks a piece, which is way more affordable if you're going to go that route because one wand in like one of the nice boxes from Noble Collection, I think retail for about $38, around 40, just under 40 bucks. So if you want to save some money, that is a good route to go. And that's how I got these five in my collection. And I was also fortunate enough to be able to find that listed over on eBay. If I see any listings, I can try to put them in my description box, but those just go so fast sometimes. So I was able to get these for $55 with shipping. So I thought that was a complete steal to get each one for that much. And I was happy to add these all into my collection. It's a nice another alternate way to do it. So keep that in mind. They do, sorry that's loud. <laughs> they do sell like the individual ones in the window boxes and those are at a better value as well. So sometimes you can find those for like $22, $28. So those are other options. If you're going to the theme parks and you're gonna buy a wand, I would definitely say don't buy one from there that isn't interactive just because you can find them at other websites and other places for a much more affordable price, in my opinion. I know if you wanna do the experience, then yes, you wanna to go to Ollivander's and you wanna get one of their wands. If you're gonna get like a universal one, for sure, it's probably the only place you can get it besides a secondhand shop like eBay. But that is just my recommendation. And of course, an interactive one because you want to do that whole experience. But if you do know that you're going on a trip there soon, I would definitely start hunting out for some interactive ones online. But you just have to be careful because just because it's interactive, they could be broken and maybe that's why they're selling it and they're not being honest online. So just bear in mind, beware. Um, that that can happen as well. Like I purchased this one on Poshmark. They didn't even have it listed as an interactive one, but when I got it, I saw that it had that piece to it. So it could be broken. I'll find out when I go to the parks. I'm going in November, so I'm going soon, but that could happen. So if you want to guarantee to have a working wand, you could purchase it from the theme parks as well. So those are just some of my tidbits and tips. So <laughs> enough rambling about how to purchase a wand and everything. I'm going to wrap up today's video. Let me know down in the comments below if you liked seeing my collection, if you have any of these wands in your collection currently, what are some of your wishlist items? 
let me know. I love to check them out. Some people suggest some ones I've never seen or heard of. So I love hearing recommendations from you guys because then I learn so many things. So definitely leave them down in the comments. But as always, if you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.